he served more than a year of a 25-year prison sentence after a Rwandan court convicted him on terrorism charges. Now, Paul Rusesabagina is a free man. Two years ago, he refused to participate in court proceedings. Rights groups and observers said the trial was a sham. The case of Sesabagina have has showed to the world how the, the nature of the Rwandan government, uh, because it does not um, it does not tolerate criticism, and so it 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 is shared the right to the to the system of Rwanda uh, of the, the dictatorship. Uh, that's why the the Sesabagina have been fighting for for human rights in Rwanda for democracy in Rwanda, and he he, he eventually become a victim. It is very exciting. Nearly 20 years earlier, he became famous when the Hollywood film Hotel Rwanda told his story. He's credited with saving more than 1,200 lives during Rwanda's 1994 genocide. More than half a million Tutsis and many Hutus were killed by a Hutu militia during a civil war. The Rwandan Patriotic Front, led by Paul Kagame, won the war and took power. Kagame later became president and Rusesa Bagina became his critic. Rwanda accused him of supporting an armed group that wanted to overthrow the government. We have maintained uh, our serious concerns about this case, especially as re uh, regards um, po political violence by armed groups, including those that are led by people operating from developed countries. But uh, we have uh, now agreed uh, on, uh, on, on, on fundamental uh, principles, and uh, we're able to, to, to move forward with this uh, humanitarian uh, release. Rusesa Beginner has Belgian citizenship and was a resident of the US. Three years ago, he was deceived into boarding a plane in Dubai and later appeared in Rwanda's capital Kigali in handcuffs. Rights groups say he was kidnapped. Rwanda's government says his sentence has been commuted after a presidential order. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.